everybody. Welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel and today we're going to be making like a sliding background. I'm not sure if I made this on my um channel or not, but I'm just making so that it like pops up for you guys. Because I think the one, if I made it, like, is very old. So, anyways, let's get to the tutorial. So, first we have that scratch cad. We're just going to delete that. Well, we're going to be only using background. So, I, um, and motion. So, we're going to be making one of the backgrounds as a sprite. I'm going to choose a background. Hmm. Aha, Metro. Okay, so first we copy the background and then make it as a sprite. So we put it here. Then we have to slide it a little bit. I know it comes off a little bit, but it just goes off the scratch screen. So you see that? Well, that's because it's the backdrop. So we can delete this backdrop and it looks like this thing is like floating like is it floating no it's not floating it's just that it's in a different position so we'll change that but we need to make it look like the background is moving like right now it's like not really doing anything but we're gonna change that we're gonna change that so we're going to copy and paste to this Oh, yeah, and I'm not sure if that's going to fit, so I'm going to flip it. Yo, that actually looks like a, like, one, one, um, perfect background. Like, one background that's, like, oh, my God. Okay, let me just connect that. Try to connect that. Aha, there we go. Wait, I don't know what is on the top. Okay, just need to connect it a little more. Ooh, what is going on? So there's something here that there's like something on the screen, like right there. I'm not sure what that is, but anyways, we're just going to move on to the project. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this on the front there. Wait, what? Okay, the line is still there. Just don't mind about it, okay? Just don't, don't. Anyways, let's make the background. So, time to go to the code. So, let's start by trying to make this background move. So, first we're going to start with a when green flag clicked, as usual. Well, not always, but you mostly need the when green flag clicked header from the events category to start your code like if you're broadcasting a message if you're playing a sound if you're moving a sprite if you're uh, making it say something or switching the costume changing the size or um changing it to a um different costume based on what this pick random one to ten block does uh and um the character can ask names well we all need to start that off with the when grid flag clicked come on okay come on i'm not known any project without this when grid flag click but there could be some projects that don't have when grid flag click because there could be like those things where it like shows your face and like you i it's like oh yeah like a video thing I'm not sure but it's it's somewhere in the sensing category so anyways let's go ahead and start the project right now so first we're gonna add a uh, when green foot clicked like i did here and then we're gonna add a for forever loop so then we can put them in but why a forever loop well you'll see okay so now we can change x okay change x well, we can set it to 10, we can set it to 5, but watch what happens when I put it to negative 10, okay? So I'm going to put this in, and I'll show you what happens if I do this. So then we're going to get an if-then, not an if-then or else. I just like to call that block that, or even, even if it's if-then else like else is right here so we're going to be grabbing this block sometimes it's good to use this block 
And then we need to put something in this open space. So time to grab the operators. I'm going to be doing a more than sign. Okay. More than sign. Ready? Okay. Or is it a more than sign sign or a less than sign? Okay, that depends. But anyways, I'm going to be setting this to negative 240. Just that X we're going to be showing what happens if that if I do that or any in like or how about negative 100? Let's see what happens. Okay, anyways, now we're going to put the X position because this is the X position. So if that X position is less than a negative 240, then we're going to set the X. We're going to change the X, not change the X by set the X to that certain number. Okay, anyways, let's go get that block. X position. Put that in that little hexagon right there. Okay, now we get to put the set X. Okay, set X to 240. Now let's see what happens with this negative 100 block. Ooh, it's moving too fast. Okay, okay. I, I, I think this is the speed. The speed of the background. Yes, you see that? The more it is, um, I mean, the less it is, the more faster it goes. Well, basically. Okay, now it's going too fast. Okay, I think 100, negative 100 is the fastest it can go. But if you set X to 100, or more than 100, it just, you know, it's on the side like that. Hey, chillin', baby. Okay, anyways, let's try negative 5, and it looks perfect. Now it's moving, but we have to set it to like where, where, where it's just moving by itself. So what, what, what's the big deal? Well, it looks as if the background is like moving by itself, but then it comes back. Like it comes back. Like, right, see, see that? So I'm not sure. Maybe we need to add a different sprite, but, um, this is just how it works, but maybe we can add it. Ooh, oh my gosh, wait, where is this? Okay, I think it's just moving. Whoa, okay, I don't think we need. Okay, anyways, whoa. Okay, that's a little um faster. Okay, maybe we can change it to negative one. Okay, that is slow, that is slow, okay. Negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Negative six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One negative one is the least fastest it can go. Oh yeah. If you put one negative one makes it go to the left side. One makes it go to the right side. You see that? I'm going to be making it go to the right side. So five. Oh my gosh. Wait. Hmm, okay, I think we need a bigger sprite, okay. I think, but I'm not sure, okay. So it just goes to the right, but then it stays here. So I think the best thing to do is make it left, so negative five. There we go, now it's gonna keep moving like that and it won't show this white part again, so great. Anyways, I think that's the end of the tutorial for today, guys. So hope you like that simple tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you can use these for your Scratch projects. So uh, I can't wait for the next tutorial. Also, hope you like my new intro that I've been showing like a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And comment on this project what we should, what I should make for our next tutorial. So, so you guys can get caught up with the notification bell. It just gives you notifications. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching and goodbye.